Anytime you heard that sound effect as a kid in the 90s, you knew that you were about to play something special. Oh yeah. And it still tracks because this playthrough right here, I love this game. This game is something awesome. You sang along, didn't you? Don't lie to me. You all sang along, I know it. <laughs> you know the words, you know the lyrics. But uh, this playthrough is a long time coming, ladies and gentlemen. Veterans of my channel, f long time followers, may remember that in 2013, I did a playthrough of DuckTales 1 as well as DuckTales 2 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. And that was all for build up to this game. Because DuckTales Remastered was announced in 2013 for the Wii U, Xbox 360, as well as PlayStation 3. And I was so excited because I grew up with the original game and I was so excited for the remaster. And, you know, I just had to hype people up for it. I had to get people excited for this thing. And then I played other games instead of this one. <laughs> well, I'm going to correct that today. Let's play DuckTales Remastered. Trust me, Kiltz. Me money bin alarm. Quick, Duckworth, get the limo. I shall, uh, <clears throat> get her in gear, sir. Hurry, Duckworth, hurry! The pedal is to the middle, Mr. McDuck. Oh, not the Beagle Boys again. If they think they can stand between Scrooge McDuck and his three cubic acres of cash, they've got another thing coming. So this game is called DuckTales Remastered, although a more accurate title would probably be DuckTales Remake, because you can't remaster what doesn't exist. And in the original NES game, we didn't have a tutorial level. We didn't have an intro with the money bin. This is a completely new stage made up for the game, and, uh... Yeah. I can Scrooge! I can Scrooge up here! Oh, Huey! Are you all right, my boy? Yeah, but you better watch out! The Beagle Boys mess with your security system! Ooh, yeah! We take over the whole place! Yeah! Be money! Hey, don't forget about me, Uncle Scrooge! Eh? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, don't worry, lad, I'll save you. Of course, the most defining thing about DuckTales on the NES was the pogo. Round. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Now that's what I call a stomachache. You were hit on the head, you moronic marauder. Thanks, Uncle Scrooge. You're welcome, lad. But Huey, what are you doing here? Well, we saw the Beagle Boys going into the money bin. We? Sure! Louie and Dewey are here too! You better hurry up, Scrooge! You might be in trouble! Ah, oh, the pogo gameplay. So yeah, Scrooge McDuck, he's an old man, and how does he get through these levels? By bouncing on everything with his cane. And uh, it's so damn fun. Just like, that was the best part about the original NES game, you know? I kept wondering as a kid, how come so many, so many 2D platformers didn't have the pogo? Because it's so fun to just bounce on things. Like, this is before Shovel Knight, you know? This is before uh, Cranky Con was in Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. You know, you didn't see this that often. I mean, maybe there'd be like a power-up in certain games. Maybe it'd be like one situational thing, but it wasn't a whole game based around on it, you know? And, uh, God, it's just so fun to play as Scrooge McDuck. A thing I never thought I would say, but it's accurate. It's accurate with DuckTales. It's so fun to play as Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah. Hey kid, you got a sandwich or something? Let me go, you big old bum! Not even for an afternoon snack. Big time in trouble, mate. 
Get away from him, you gluttonous goon! Sorry, Scroogey. Not a chance. The bottom switch releases a nice looking hamburger. Ooh. And the top one has a hammer. You saved me, Uncle Scrooge! Aye, I did. How you hunt, lad? Now, I'm fine, but I saw Louie heading up the stairs with about a thousand beagle boys right behind him. Stay here. I'll handle this. One of the coolest things about this game is that they actually got all of the voice cast from the original TV show to come back and reprise their roles. You know, obviously the original 8-bit game didn't have voice acting. It's an 8-bit game. You couldn't fit that onto the cartridge. Go figure. But, you know, it's 2013, long after the show has ended. And yet, Alan Young is back as Scrooge McDuck. Russie Taylor is back as Huey, Dewey, Louie, and Webby. Uh... June Foray, back as Magicka Dispel. Like, most of the cast from the actual TV show reprised their roles in this 2013 game when a good majority of the cast were like 90 years old or in their 70s. And that's pretty wild, man. You know, I would not have expected that. Like, I, I hear an announcement of like, DuckTales Remastered. It's just gonna be a remake of that old NES game. But no! There's so much heart in this thing, from the soundtrack to the voice actors to, you know, the visual design. Like, this was the first time that Way Forward did a crack at this 2D, 3D thing that they would do later with Shantae, Half Genie Hero. And uh, it's so charming, and it looks so darn good, and it sounds so darn good, and it's just, oh, it's a labor of love. Hurry up, the Scrooge! They're headed for your office! Hold on, lad. I'll have you free in a jiffy. Not so fast, big jump. We're running things around here now. Cuss me, kill me. One false move and I'm a roast duck. Please be a Scrooge. It's not worth it. Nonsense, me boy. And immediately I run into the laser. <laughs> and because I'm playing on hard mode, two more hits and I am done. Ow! That lot of good that'll do us if they make it to me vault. I say I'm playing on hard mode, but that's not much of a dick flex. Um, <laughs> yes, dick flex. That's, an, that's a real term. Look it up, kids. I mean, no, no, kids, don't look up dick flexes. Please don't look that up on Google. Uh, the great Clement did not say to look up dick flexes. Oh, oh, God. Step away from me, fortune, you crook. Uh, 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 not this time, McDuck. Oh, you ain't getting the drop on this Beagle Boy! We'll see about that, Mr. Beagle. Watch this, I- Oh, never mind, he's got a helmet. So this boss fight, completely new to the remaster, along with the whole entire stage, and, uh... Duckworth here, I don't know why he's called Duckworth. He's a dog. Why is he called Duckworth? Shouldn't he be Dogworth? Wouldn't that make more sense? I know we got this whole duck theme with Duckburg and Scrooge McDuck and everybody's a duck. Except for the Beagle Boys and everybody, but you know. Anywho, Duckworth has an infinite amount of safes just hanging above Scrooge's office. And uh, you want to knock the things that the Beagle throws at you into the safe. And as long as you're ducking, the things he throws will never hit you. Curse you, Mutt Duck! This ain't the last you'll see of me! Yeah. Good riddance to bad beagles, I say. Now, why in the world was he interested in this old painting? Surely there are more valuable... Well, pluck me pin feathers. It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys! Boys! What did you find, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, what is it? I'm not sure, but I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new crypto-analysis program. Then we'll know what the Beagle Boys were after. <laughs> Stand back, lads. Brickadoon! What is it, Uncle Scrooge? It's a treasure map, lads. And no ordinary treasure by the look of things. Only Uncle Scrooge would call any kind of treasure ordinary. Look! 
One of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon. And there's another one in Transylvania. And one buried 10 miles underground. Hey, wait a minute. Something screwy. This last treasure can't be right. Yeah, there's no mountain on Earth that's that high. Well, according to the Junior Woodchuck's guidebook, to get there we'd have to take about 537 million steps straight up till we reach the moon. You mean the moon moon? It looks that way, lads. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? That treasure's not going to discover itself. And with the tutorial level out of the way, we now have the proper level select from the original game. And the same levels, so you got the Amazon, Transylvania, the African Mines, the Himalayas, as well as the Moon. Um, so, I'm still going to be going in the same order I did with the 8-bit game, because you still get the same upgrades. Pack your bags, boys! We're off to Transylvania, and we're no coming back without the coin of the Lost Realm! This is it, kids. Draculeste Manor. Home of the legendary Drake Von Vladstone. Heir to the coin of the Lost Realm. Boy, it's kind of creepy out here, isn't it? Uh, uh, Uncle Scrooge, we're not going to break into this guy's house, are we? Yeah, of course not, Louis. This castle has been abandoned for centuries. Hey, look at this. The Junior Woodchuck Guidebook says Drake Von Vladstone was best known by his nickname, Count Dracula Duck. <sighs> Is there really a monster in there, Uncle Scrooge? Ah, uh, don't be silly, Webby. Yeah, there's no such thing as Dracula. Right! Ah, uh, he is right, isn't he, Uncle Scrooge? Ah, of course he is, Louis. Vampires, banshees, and mischievous spirits are just a lot of superstitious hocus-pocus. <laughs> but you better stick close to me, just in case. I like that the drawbridge actually bounces with the pogo, you know. That's some fun attention to detail, I must say. Now you boys stay put and keep an eye on Wee Webigale. I'll be back with the treasure in no time. Aw, nuts. We want to come with you, Uncle Scrooge. Don't worry. I'll be back with the coin before you can say E Pluribus Unum. E Purple Bus Whoom? Yeah, I'm not sure that's as fast as you think it is. Besides, why should we have to stay here just because Webby's a big chicken? Yeah, we're not afraid of... Oh, whatever's hiding out there, uh, are we? You boys are so mean. I'll show you who's not afraid of the dark. Wait, Wait Webby! Webby! <laughs> oh, no! Huey, Dewey, Louie! Will they be all right, Uncle Scrooge? Of course. Everything will be fine, my darling. Wait here and I'll be back with the lads lickety-split. Treasure nearby. Hot and smell it. The soundtrack is amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> so the one thing people remember about the original DuckTales is that it had one amazing music piece with the moon. Like even if you've never played DuckTales, there's a good chance you've actually heard the moon piece if you're looking up retro old school 8-bit video game music, because uh it got around, it got around. It's a pretty good track, and uh, it definitely gets remastered to perfection in this game. But, uh, you know, I thought the other music was still pretty good. I thought it was pretty fantastic. It's just the moon hogged all the spotlight. Well, the composer of this game, Jake Kaufman, does such a good job remixing all of the older tracks that it's like every track in this game, whether it's the Amazon, Transylvania, Himalayas, you name it, 
God, they are just amazing. Jake Kaufman also did the music for Devil Dragon Neon, a game I did a Let's Play of. You should check it out. It's an amazing way forward game. Everybody should play that game. It just got on the Switch recently. Yeah, it was ported to the Switch, so now it's on a newer console. Go play Double Dragon Neon. Skullmageddon demands it. <laughs> And um, he did the music for that. He did the music for Shantae. Uh, Pirate's Curse has an amazing soundtrack. Shantae and the Pirate's Curse is like one of my favorite OSTs. Uh, he did the music for Shovel Knight and, and uh, you know, just a lot of stuff. Just a lot of stuff. And God, what he does with the original tracks from DuckTales is just on a whole nother level. Like, I love every single song in this game on the same level that I would the original Moon track. Hey, Papa Scrooge! Get me down from here! Oh no! A g -g 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 ghost Oh boy! How can I beat a ghost and totally not a beagle boy wrapped in a blanket? <laughs> Yo! I'm out of here! Hey! That wasn't a ghost at all! It was a beagle boy in disguise! Trying to beat me to my treasure, no doubt. But it'll take more than just an old bed sheet and flower dust to frighten off Scrooge McDuck. Look, Uncle Scrooge, that beagle boy dropped something. It's an old piece of paper. Twist me, Tartan. It's an ancient rune. You mean, like a magic spell? Aye, lad. At least part of one. Gee, I wonder who tore it into pieces. We'll worry about that later. Right now, I want you to head to the front door and wait for me. I'll be back once I've found the treasure. Off you go, lad. So in the original DuckTales, uh, Transylvania could probably be beaten in like a minute or two minutes. <laughs> like, honestly, you can just beeline right for the boss and then just end the stage really quickly. But with the remastered version, uh, we have to find the nephews. We have to find Huey, Dewey, and Louie and get the scraps of paper that they have so that we get all the keys that will unlock the boss door, you know? So it gives you an incentive to explore the whole level, whereas the original game, uh, you know, you could skip the minecart ride and they didn't seem to care. They were like, oh, you don't want to do the minecart? Whatever. Just go to the boss door. You're fine. <laughs> Remastered's like, no, no, we built these levels. You're going to experience them. I love the little background details, like uh, the paintings and stuff. Those weren't in the original game, and it's just... Oh, there's so much life in every level. <laughs> well, I guess you found me out. Oh, well. You guys got any lunch? No! Okay, okay. You don't gotta be all touchy about it. See ya! Aw, oh, that guy gives me the heebie-jeebies. He was starting to look at me like I was lunch. Well, next time he'll think twice before scrapping with Scrooge McDuck. Speaking of scraps, he dropped this, Uncle Scrooge. Ah, it looks like another piece of that torn up sorcery. Ah, uh, say what? A magic spell. And it's nearly complete. Just one piece left to find. If only I knew where to start looking. Well, that bungle boy did say this house has an illusion wall. Uh, do you think he meant... Of course, a secret passage. Oh, no wonder I've been having so much trouble finding anything around here. Good lad. Now, off you go. I need you to wait at the entrance with the others. So in the original game, Dewey also warned you that there was an invisible wall you could go through in order to find the, uh, the boss door. Uh, but it wasn't a cutscene cutscene, it was like you went up to Dewey and then you had to scroll through like one little thing of text and then that was it. Uh, one criticism DuckTales Remastered has is that even though it's awesome that they got the original cast of the TV show, even though, you know, it adds a lot more context and explanation to the story of this game, uh, some people will find it a little disappointing and a little frustrating that it is so cutscene heavy, this game. Um, I actually think coming back to it, it's actually a fine balance of cutscene and gameplay. And the thing is, there's two things you need to know. One, you can skip the cutscenes, obviously. Uh, but if you still find that annoying, if you still find the process of having to pause and push skip cinematic every time you come up to one of these things, 
then you should know when you beat the game, you will unlock Quick Cinema Mode. You go into the options of the main menu, you toggle on Quick Cinema, and that means you will not have any cutscenes. You'll just play the game as if it were like the 8-bit NES game. No talking whatsoever. And that right there, that is an extra heart piece. Just like the original, Transylvania as well as the Himalayas have heart upgrades for you. So that's why I'm playing these levels in the order that I am. Just so I can get one extra hit point. Not that it matters. I'm, I'm pretty badass, you know. Because <laughs> I said, like, hard mode is not much of a dick flex because it's, it's honestly not that hard of a game, even on its hardest difficulties. Uh, when you beat the game on hard mode, you unlock extreme mode. And all extreme mode does is that it makes it so that your pogo is the way it was in the original version of the game. Like, okay, when you play DuckTales Remastered, all you have to do is push one of the face buttons in order to pogo. Like, for the Xbox 360, you just push X. You push X, and he gets his pogo out, and you just hold X down, and Scrooge will have it out forever. And you can just pogo and pogo and pogo and pogo. That was not the case in the original. In the original, you had to hold down and then push the pogo button. And you can actually have it that way if you want. In the options, there is a hard pogo feature, so you can have it like that. Not so tough without your army helmet, eh? <laughs> Wait till the gang in Sing Sing finds out you were knocked flat by an old guy in his cane! <laughs> yeah, thank you, lad. Yeah? Well, you better be careful where you go poking around, McDuck, or you's gonna have much bigger problems than me. So long! Now, what do you suppose he meant by that? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, quick, lad, see if there's a scrap of paper lying about. Uh, you mean like this one, Uncle Scrooge? Exactly! This is the last piece of the riddle. Uh, what to do? That's what I'm about to find out. Quick, lad. Go meet Webby and the others at the entrance. And all of you, stay put! You know they're not going to do that, Scrooge. You just know that. <laughs> Huey, Dewey, and Louie do not listen, goddammit. <laughs> These minecart sections are really fun. I like that when Scrooge jumps, uh, the momentum kind of keeps going, so he's just always moving forward, you know? Pretty darn good, pretty darn good. Except when you're on the last jump, then you have to push uh, the direction that you're going when you jump. But otherwise, it's pretty nice. I mean, I'm getting these jewels perfectly. I'm getting them exactly like how I'd want to get them. So I just love the control in DuckTales Remastered, you know. I've actually, like, jumped back and forth between the original and Remastered just to contrast and compare. And yeah, the NES game is a little bit stiffer. Still fun to play, still amazing. I still grew up with it and had... So much fun. But uh, DuckTales Remastered feels really, really good. You know, it feels real good to move Scrooge around and you're always bouncing on exactly what you want to bounce on. And it's that kind of precision that I love, you know? Because it means I can just bounce on every single individual block, move to the right or to the left and get to every single piece that I want. And uh, it's just good. You know, I love that you can just let go of the pogo button and then Scrooge loses gravity and he just starts to fall down. I know some people might hate that, but I love it because that means I can go up, let go of pogo, and then Scrooge starts going down. And then go up and let go, he goes, starts going down. And that means I can always control where he is in the sky and when I want to go down and when I want to like just go straight up and keep going up. And it's that control, that smooth precision that just makes this game so damn fun to play. Um... It's not that hard, but, you know, that reminds me of the standard difficulty of most Disney kids' games, you know? Most of them. Most of them. If you've ever played The Lion King on Super Nintendo, The Lion King is bullshit. <laughs> I know it's to encourage rentals at Blockbuster or whatever, but Jesus, why was The Lion King so bullshit? That's ridiculous. But, no, I'm thinking of, like, games like Quackshot. I did a playthrough of that, too. Quackshot for the Sega Genesis starring Donald Duck. Love that game. It's often forgotten. People always talk about, like, you know, the magical mystery illusion with Mickey Mouse or, or Great Circus Mystery or, or I, I don't know, Epic Mickey? Does anyone talk about Epic Mickey? I assume people talk about Epic Mickey. <laughs> Going Quackers, you know? People talk about a lot of Disney games, but they always forget Quackshot, and Quackshot's amazing. 
It's Donald Duck with a plunger gun. What's what's not to love? It's amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm reminded of Quackshot and Aladdin on the Super Nintendo. Aladdin's a comfortable good time. Also made by Capcom. So you boot up Aladdin and you still get that that great Capcom boot up sound. I love it. I love it. It just takes me back to a simpler time, and that's what I like about DuckTales Remastered. Watch this. Part of the spell matches the inscriptions on this mirror. Luck of the ducks! I solved the riddle! Uh, what riddle, Lucky Scrooge? Boys, I thought I told you to stay with Webby. They did stay with me, Uncle Scrooge. I'm right here. Oh, what a pretty mirror. Aye, lass. And if I'm right, using this spell will reveal the foul perpetrator behind all these shenanigans. <laughs> Magic at the spell. Ach, I should have known you'd be behind this. Oh, Scroogey, my old friend. You wouldn't believe how much fun it is watching you run around making a fool of yourself. What? <laughs> oh, you really don't think you need ancient sorcery to find Coin of Lost Realm, do you? No. I had Beetle Boy's hide paper scraps to throw you off trail. Why, you sneaky, conniving... Please, save compliments for garden party. What garden party? The one I will throw in celebration when I get home with Lost Coin. So long, fools! <laughs> gee, gee, you look very nice. You said it, Webby. All right, you kids stay here. I'm going to track down that witch and give her a piece of my mind. Seriously, it is amazing that they got the original voice cast back for this game. You know, it's just, as a DuckTales fan, that is just some kind of special. You know, it's not what you expect, and then you get it, and it's just like, ah. It's like I'm 10 again. <laughs> not just because it's an old NES game, but because the cast is back. Like, oh my god. It's the perfect amount of nostalgia that you would want from this thing. One way to, to get this section through nice and easy is if the ghost is chasing you from the right, because you start moving right, and then you can just have it slowly follow you, and then you don't have to worry about running into ghosts, you know? Scrooge, why must you always meddle? That coin is mine! The boss theme has an amazing remix. Goddamn, Jay Kaufman, why are you so awesome? <laughs> But, uh, the boss fights are by far the aspect of DuckTales Remastered that have changed a lot. In the original game, Magicka Dispels, she turned into a bird and she shot lightning. That was pretty much all she ever did. But now she has a whole bunch of stuff going on. She hides in mirrors, and you have to hit the mirror that her face is in. This is what she did originally. This is the bird she turned into. She would fly, she would be sometimes high, sometimes low. She'd shoot her three electric... Uh, lightning bolts in that trajectory but she didn't do this she didn't do these lasers and these rocks that you need to hop on you didn't have to dodge lasers vertically Ugh, tight squeeze tight squeeze but they always leave just enough room which is always good every time magicka comes back you just whack her in the head <laughs> I love sometimes when you hit the mirrors uh, magicka goes how did he know <laughs> Probably because your face was in the mirror. Your face shouldn't be poking out, Magicka. It makes this pretty darn simple, if I do say so myself. Hop, 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 oh god. I know I'm making this look pretty simple, but I imagine for a kid this is pretty challenging. Because keep in mind, I can only get hit four times. You know, there's no health pickups. It's not like uh, you find chicken legs that Scrooge can eat every now and then. I mean, there's ice cream there's ice cream but like not in the boss fight itself so like these bosses are pretty intense for a young child I would assume but then again I'm condescending <laughs> last these inferior mirror and beam spells it's the last time I shop for spell ingredients at discount store 
You haven't seen lots of magic at the spell. You may have coin of lost realm, but your number one dime will soon be mine. This game is so damn fun. Seriously. <laughs> so damn fun. All right, let's see how I did in, in regards to money, in regards to score. Almost four million. Almost four million. Definitely a lot more than the original, that's for sure. Do you think Magicka will keep out of our way now, Uncle Scrooge? It's hard to say, lad. Folks like her have a way of popping up at the most inconvenient moments. Well, when it comes to Magicka, there's no such thing as a convenient moment. Too true, Louie. Now then, we're two next, lads. Another amazing thing about this game is that in between levels, you can go into Scrooge McDuck's vault, his safe, and you can jump into his pile of money and swim around in the gold. <laughs> and the more money you collect through not just one playthrough, but like cumul cumulative playthroughs. Like the more you play and the more you play, you can keep building up your money count. And then the pit actually fills more and more and more and it gets deeper and deeper until you just have so much cash that you're just ridiculously, ridiculously wealthy. And uh, I'll probably show that off in my master save file. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, DuckTales Remastered should have played this a long time ago. I love it. It's fantastic. Stay tuned for part two.